Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Fiala Raven Raven 20, which is a really compact and capable 20 liter everyday bag. And a while back, we took a look at this bag's bigger brother, the Raven 28, which is a really great all-purpose bag. I was very impressed with the build quality and the organizational layout on that bag. And during the video for that one, I actually featured a version of the Raven 20 to just kind of showcase the size differences between the two. But I got a lot of requests for an in-depth video on the smaller version specifically. And since we've been looking at a lot of great minimal EDC bags recently, I thought it was a great time to revisit this one to see how it would compare. And so I've been testing it out for the past couple of weeks and so far it's been a great experience. Like its bigger brother, the bag has a great build quality. It's been very comfortable to wear. I really like its organizational layout and it actually has a pretty impressive amount of space considering how small the bag looks. So I'm really excited to walk through it with you guys. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. This has a very classic and kind of outdoorsy feel that looks like it's gonna blend in well into a ton of different environments, whether you're walking around the city, a college campus, or even taking this on a hike. And the bag is offered in a ton of different colors. The version that I have here is a navy blue, but it's also offered in black, gray, and a few other options that you can check out on Amazon or on Fial Raven's site. As far as the materials, on the outside, the bag is made out of Fial Raven's G1000 fabric, which is comprised of recycled polyester and cotton. And for the most part, this feels pretty durable and like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage. On top of that, the material is also fairly lightweight and it seems to offer a decent amount of weather resistance. On top of that, the bag also has some really nice YKK zippers all throughout. And these have these sort of inverted coils to help add some additional protection against the elements. So just a really solid build quality and it definitely feels like a bag that you're gonna have with you for a long time to come. The last thing that I'll mention about the materials is that the bag does have a few leather accents throughout. So on the front, you have the classic Fuel Raven logo. And I'm not always too crazy about this. I feel like it's just a little bit big. And then at the top, you also have a nice padded handle that has a leather wrap on it. And this feels really comfortable to hold. It has a nice amount of thickness. The only thing that worries me a little bit about the leather on the handle and on the front is this feels like a piece that could get a little bit stained if you happen to get caught in some rain. Continuing along the outside, I was really happy to see that the bag has two external water bottle pockets and the implementation here is okay. As you can see with the water bottle that I normally use, they're a little bit on the shallow side. So if you have something a little bit taller, there is a possibility that it could start to fall out. Currently the water bottle that I have here is the Wandered water bottle that I featured in a few of my recent daily bag videos. And then the compartment itself doesn't have a whole lot of elasticity. It does have a decent amount of volume, but it doesn't come out if you have something a little bit thicker. And if you place anything too large in here, it does start to take up a little bit of space from the main areas of the bag. So wish that these would have been improved just a little bit, but still really happy to see that you have these two areas included so that you can quickly toss in your water bottle or maybe something like a small umbrella. Jumping into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 20 liters, which is a really good daily bag size in my opinion. I was able to fit most of the items that I normally like to carry with me, and the bag maintained a pretty slim and sleek silhouette, even when it was a little bit more packed out, making it great for navigating crowded areas or jumping onto public transit. One thing that I will note about this 20 liter size is that it just looked a little bit smaller on me than a lot of the other similarly sized bags that I've featured on the channel. So if you have a little bit of a larger frame or you like to carry a more with you on your day to day, then I would definitely recommend considering the larger brother of this bag, the Raven 28. Continuing on with the straps and the back paneling, overall the bag has been pretty comfortable to wear. I really like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a nice amount of padding. On the inside they have this meshy material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then they also have a pretty nice width for the size of the bag. And then I also like that these straps are slightly curved, which always feels really good with my particular body type. One thing that I will note about the straps, however, is that you don't have the ability to attach any sort of a sternum strap, but I don't think that that's too big of a deal considering the smaller size of the bag. Moving into the back paneling, this has also felt pretty comfortable. It has sort of a foam insert that adds a nice amount of rigidity to the back to help distribute the weight when it's a little bit more packed out. But one thing that I did notice is that there's no sort of meshy material or elevation on this back paneling, so there wasn't a whole lot of airflow, and I did feel my back get pretty sweaty while I was walking around with this throughout the day. Jumping into the bag's organizational options, there's a lot of great pockets all throughout, and I was really impressed 
that even though this is a smaller bag, all the pockets are still very usable. They're very intelligently laid out. And so jumping in, the first one that we're gonna take a look at on the front is just a simple quick access zippered compartment. And I really like that it has this flap that comes over the zipper to help add some additional protection. So opening this one up, there's no sort of internal organization or fleece lining, just a nice simple compartment for anything that you need to grab quickly during the day. Currently the only thing that I have in here is just my Blue Pop Portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank and that fit in there very comfortably comfortably and even with that larger item there was still a nice amount of leftover space you can see just how deep this compartment is and I left it a little bit emptier just because there's so many other great ways to organize stuff throughout the bag but still really like having that much space in this front pocket here. The next area that we're going to take a look at is kind of an admin compartment that has a lot of great internal organization and this has a little bit of a wider opening. I like how much this comes up to make it easy to see everything that's in the compartment. And so before jumping into the internal organization, I just really like how deep this compartment is. This makes it great for holding some larger or taller items. I didn't really have that many that I was carrying with me on my day to day. So I just kind of threw in some of the larger items that I couldn't place anywhere else. So at the bottom here, I have my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. And then next to that, I have my Matador packable shower towel. And so really like this is just gonna be a great spot to throw in something like a dop kit or a jacket if you're using this for traveling. And then moving up along the back, you have a few simple slip pockets so on the right I just have a simple nail clipper and then a stylus for my tablet and that fit in there really comfortably but there's no sort of small pen slot so that's why I just kind of had them both in there and then next to that you have a slightly larger slip pocket that's going to be great for holding something like a mouse or a portable hard drive and then all the way on the left you have one additional smaller slip pocket which might be a great spot to place another pen or something like a multi-tool. And then moving over to the flap, you have one additional mesh zippered compartment here. And I like how much volume this offers for anything a little bit larger that you wanna store. I also like that this is a mesh compartment to allow you to see what's on the inside. And so currently what I have in here is just a simple deck of cards that I like to carry with me. And then on the inside, you also have this little lanyard that has a plastic clip that's gonna be a great spot for attaching your keys or a little multi-tool like the one that I currently have here. Moving up to the top of the bag, you have another nice quick access area with a well-protected zipper. I really like that this has this zipper garage to help add that extra peace of mind. And so opening this up, really nice amount of space here. And a nice thing about this compartment is that it has this soft fleece lining on the inside to help prevent against scratching. And so jumping in, what I currently have here is my Apple AirPods Pro. And then I also have my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And even with those items in there, there was still some leftover capacity. So I really like when these top quick access areas are a little bit larger to just make them easier to use. One thing to note about that, however, is that if you fill this up completely, it will take up just a little bit of space from the inside of the main area of the bag. And then the last area that we're gonna take a look at is the main compartment. And this has a nice wide opening. This is a top loading bag, but I like that this comes up a decent amount to make it easy to see everything that's on the inside. And I like that this compartment, even though it's a smaller bag, can still hold some bulkier items. And so it doesn't feel like everything is too packed out or tight. And I was easily able to hold stuff in all the other compartments of the bag. So just a very intelligent layout here. And so jumping into the items in this main compartment, first up, I have my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then next to that, I threw in this next stand that I've been using while I've been working from home. This is normally where I'd include my Levitate portable standing desk, but because this is a little bit shorter of a bag, it didn't really fit in here too comfortably. So I've just been testing this out as well. And then moving down towards the bottom, I have a few pouches. First up, I have my Maxpedition pouch that has some of my smaller EDC items. And then next to that, I also have my Bellroy Classic pouch that has some of my smaller tech accessories that I didn't want floating around the bag. And then behind that, I also threw in a full-size moleskin notebook. So now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. It comes up a pretty decent amount considering that the bag really isn't that big. I love how much flexibility this gives you with what you can store in here. And although this isn't a super large bag, it might be just a little bit small for me to use for a longer weekend trip. I do feel like there's enough space that you could toss in maybe a smaller packing cube or a few changes of clothes if you wanted to use this for a shorter weekend trip. 
And then even though things are kept pretty simple in this main area, there is one small zippered compartment near the top that's gonna be great for storing anything that you don't want slipping down towards the bottom or that you wanna be able to get to a little bit more quickly just because of all the different pouches and pockets that are in the rest of the bag. I didn't have much to put in here. This would definitely be a great spot to maybe put a cable to charge your phone. Or in my case, I just tossed in my wallet, sent it to inside of the main area. I like that this feels just a little bit more secure, but very simple layout here. No sort of internal organization, just a nice amount of volume for anything that you need to toss in there quickly. And then the last thing that we're gonna take a look at in this main area is the laptop sleeve. And I really like how this has been implemented here. The sleeve has a nice amount of padding. It's pretty thick and rigid. And then it's not quite suspended off the bottom of the bag, but it does have a nice amount of padding. So it still feels like my laptop is gonna be very well protected, even if I happen to place the bag down a little bit harder. And so the sleeve also offers a nice amount of space. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but you can definitely fit up to a 15 inch laptop. And then the sleeve also also comes up a nice amount to help in case you have a little bit of a thicker device and so pulling my laptop out now with the compartment empty you can get a better look at the inside and I really like that it has this soft fleece lining on the front it would have been nice to have seen this on the back as well but it still does a good job of protecting against scratches and in general it really feels like my laptop is gonna be very well protected throughout the day so just a great job in this main area and throughout the rest of the bag of offering an intelligent layout and design. The bag feels very durable, and if you're looking for something lightweight and simple that you're gonna be able to take into a ton of different environments and that's gonna come in at a really reasonable price, and this is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Raven 20 over the past couple of weeks. The bag has been really comfortable to wear. It has a great build quality. I really like its organizational layout, and I really like the outdoorsy aesthetic that it has. And so you can currently purchase this on Amazon or sites like Backcountry or REI starting at around $60. I've seen the price jump up a little bit depending on the color that you choose, but this blue version that I have here I was able to purchase for $60. But even at a price point of $80 or $90, I still think it's a really reasonable price considering the features and build quality that the bag has to offer. And I also think it compares well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of was the Raven 28, which is the bigger brother of this bag. I mentioned it a few times throughout the video, and that was a really solid all-purpose bag. Because of the larger size, it just really worked great if you have a little bit more of a heavier EDC or you want something that you can use for minimal travel. It had a very similar aesthetic and build quality to this, but it just had some additional capacity and organizational options. So if you like this style of bag, we have a little bit of a larger frame or you just prefer to have some extra space, that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. The next bag this made me think of is the Burton Tinder Pack, which is another really solid daily bag. It has a very kind of outdoorsy and classic style. It has a little bit of a different layout than this. It's a top loading bag that has some adjustable straps, but I really like the flexibility that that gives. And that's a bag that I've had for a few years now and it's held up very well. It comes in at a pretty similar price point to this at under $100. So if you're looking for something with more of a classic aesthetic that's gonna offer you plenty of flexibility and space, and that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. If you're looking for something with a similar organizational layout and capacity, but with a little bit more of a modern look, I definitely recommend you check out the Air Day Pack 2, which is a really solid everyday bag. It has a very clean and minimalistic aesthetic that's gonna work great in a professional environment. And I really love the build quality on that one. It's very comfortable to wear, and it also has a ton of weather resistance. So if you have a little bit of a higher budget and you want something that's gonna work great for a professional setting, then that's gonna be one of the best options to check out. Another bag this made me think of is the Bellroy Classic Backpack, which is just a really solid everyday bag. It has a nice professional aesthetic, a really solid build quality. The bag is actually gonna be a little bit more comfortable than this one, and I also like the padding on the laptop compartment a little bit more. That one's just slightly more suspended, but it has a similar size, and that bag's not gonna have all the same organizational options as this, so if you like something with a little bit more of a simpler layout that's gonna maybe blend in a little bit better into a professional environment while offering a phenomenal build quality, then that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. And then the last option that I'll mention here, if you have a little bit of a higher budget, is the Evergood Civic Half Civ, which we looked at really recently. And that is a very well-built bag. It has a comfortable harness system. It has kind of a similar aesthetic to this, in my opinion. It's slightly more minimal, 
but just the overall feel is more outdoorsy in my opinion and I really liked the simpler layout of that bag. It was able to hold a ton of stuff. All the pockets had a nice amount of volume and I really liked that that bag like this one had some really great external water bottle pockets. So if you're looking for a great bag to take into the outdoors, it's going to have a little bit of a more solid build quality than this bag here and that's going to be a great option to take a look at. With that being said, the Raven 20 holds up really well against all those bags and if you're looking for a durable, sustainably made, and well organized bag that's going to come in at a really reasonable price and this is going to be a great option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Raven 20 and how it compares to its bigger brother, the Raven 28. And if there are any similar bags that you think I should feature on the channel, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.